Hey guys, we are doing some blackberry picking today. It's slim pickings, but uh, we're getting a few. Uh, there's a lot of them. Uh, a lot of them's not ripe yet. They're really small this year from the dry weather, but we're trying to beat the birds. Uh, as soon as they turn ripe, the birds are nailing them. So we're trying to get in here and get what's ripe and get them out uh, before the birds get them. Last year we waited until a bunch of them got ripe, come back the next about two days later and they were gone so uh, they're already hitting them now you can tell they're they're on them and uh, we're trying to get them they ain't real big but they're blackberries nonetheless and uh, they're gonna be good in a jam or a pie cobbler but uh, we got ourselves sprayed down good for ticks and we've been working on it for a little while going here and there you can see in there there's a lot of ripe ones hanging right in here you can see a lot of the red ones but you can see there's a lot of black ones hanging there too and these are some of the bigger ones that we found most of them that's that's been out in the more open places have been pretty small this is more shaded here i guess the dry weather didn't affect it as bad i used to do this every summer growing up me and my brother we'd pick blackberries sell them by the gallon to the people throughout the community and uh, it'll teach you a lot of patience because you don't get a gallon very quick. Not when you have to hunt for them. We've got another spot up ahead of us there we're fixed. We was headed to, and we just seen these off the side of the road. And I wasn't going to pass these up. This is one of the best batches we found all in one spot. We've raised tame blackberries and they're big they'll get a lot bigger uh, but they're not as sweet I don't think and they're just not as good as the wild ones but the wild ones are a lot harder to get you gotta work for them get a briar in your fingers every once in a while Sometimes you gotta be willing to dig for them. How many cores does it take to, before you can make jam, Joe? I, I made it out of a half gallon before. I mean, you just start splitting the recipe if you don't have a gallon. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get a half a gallon before we're done. I'm gonna venture on in here a little bit. It's slow go because you've got to maneuver around the briars. Like I said, this is the most concentrated bunch that I found. It's all ripe. They won't crawl back in here, but when you can see them, it's hard to pass them up.
I remember I was probably time I was six or eight years old and for a few years after that me and my brother would pick pick them all, all summer or when they came in we'd sell them to anybody in the community that wanted them some years there was a lot more than others and I think that was probably that's probably mid 70s and we were selling them for eight dollars a gallon then which to us was big money I have no idea what they're worth today but I'm not selling them I'm planning on eating them oh, I'll see some I missed Maybe a few more here, and then we're going to go on down and check out. There's a bunch of briars ahead of us in an old grew-up field. I don't know if we're going to get any berries off of them. But there, that's a gallon bucket. And... Uh, it's a long ways from full, but Joe's got one too. She's got about as many as I do. So I think we'll get a half a gallon anyway. So this is what I was talking about earlier. These are standing out in the open. And you can see they're, the red ones are really small. And uh, there's a ripe one here or there. But if you look at the end of this briar, there is a bunch of space on that briar where there's none there's no berries whatsoever ripe or unripe and uh, i believe those has gotten ripe and the birds have robbed them because they will strip them and that's what we've been running into a lot of them. i was over here two days ago and there was a lot more berries on the vine than what there is now there weren't very many of them ripe. Or maybe it was three days ago. All right, guys, we're about to wind this up. We got, we're going to hit a few more spots where we know there's probably some out. On the way out, uh, we probably got a half a gallon. I was hoping to get a gallon. And there's a lot more briars here than what we've got to we i'm just not wading through all that i come over here and bush hog some around on the other side where i could get to and bush hog to some pads out but uh, i couldn't get down in here with the tractor i blocked myself off with the cornfield so i'll have to get the smaller tractor down here to bush hog this but uh anyway i just uh, thought you might enjoy that uh, there's a lot of people out there probably don't know where blackberries come from they don't all come from the farm uh, probably the majority of them you get in the store, that's probably where they come from. But this is where they come from originally. This is where God put them. And uh, I prefer them uh, over the, the uh, domestic ones. But uh, they're really good. But this is where blackberries come from and this is what it takes to get them. So hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for hanging around and we'll see you next time.